So in this video we're going to use the definition of even and odd functions to show that a function is neither even nor odd. So <clears throat> we have a function f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared. We want to demonstrate that it is neither even nor odd. So what we need to recall is that when we test for even functions we are testing to see whether f of the opposite of x equals f of x. And if we're testing for an odd function, we're testing to see whether f of opposite of x equals the opposite of f of x. So I think the easiest way to do to demonstrate that we're neither the function is neither even nor odd is to start off by testing to see whether it's even. So the test for even requires that we take the function and plug the opposite of x into it. So I take my function f of x, I replace x with the opposite of x, which means go to the function and everywhere you see an x, replace that x with the opposite of x. So I have x cubed minus 4x squared, but we replace x with opposite of x. And then we, what we want to recognize is that the opposite of x cubed is really the same as negative 1 cubed x cubed minus 4. And opposite of x squared is really negative 1 squared x squared. But negative 1 cubed is just negative 1. And negative 1 times x cubed is just the opposite of x cubed. And then we have negative 1 squared is positive 1, so we get minus... 4 times 1 is 4 x squared. And at this point, we've simplified as much as we can uh, with regards to the negation that we introduced into the function. And so at this point, you stop and you look at what you have and you say, is what I have here the same as what I started with, x cubed minus 4x squared? And it isn't because there's a minus sign in front of the x cubed that wasn't there for the original function. So at this point, you can draw the conclusion that because f of the opposite of x equals negative x cubed minus 4x squared, we can draw the conclusion that f of opposite of x does not equal f of x. It differs by that negation in front of the x cubed. <clears throat> and then we can draw a conclusion from this statement. We can say, so f of x is not even because f of x, sorry, f of the opposite of x isn't the same as f of x. And then what we want to do is pick up with our previous work and we want to factor that negative sign out and see if we get the opposite of f of x. So by our previous work, now pick up at this last step. By our previous work, we've already shown that f of opposite of x is the opposite of x cubed minus 4x squared. So go ahead and do the test for odd by factoring the negation off. The simplification's already been done. Factor out a negative, which will leave behind x cubed plus 4x squared, and then we stop and we look at this and we say, is this the same as f of x? And in this case, we see that it's not because we have a plus here, whereas there was a minus in the original. So now we can draw the conclusion that f of the opposite of x is not the same as the opposite of f of x either. So we can draw a conclusion from that. So f of the opposite of x sorry, f of x, so f of x, the original function is not odd because f of the opposite of x does not equal the opposite of f of x.